Hello everyone, this is Pablo with Crafties915.com and today we got part 2 of our contour cutting video with our GCC Expert 2 LX cutter. So stick around. Okay, so we're going to open a new file in Great Cut 4. And because I'm going to be printing on a letter size page, I'm going to go to my settings, working area. And choose the letter size template. Click OK. My computer's kind of slow, so give it a second. Now I'm going to import my image. Now this image is um, pretty complicated. It's the GNR logo. And it's in a JPEG format. I'm gonna place it more or less in the middle. Make it a little bigger by dragging one of the corners. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to set the, the contour marks on this image. So I'm going to click on this button that reads create contour line or just press the letter K. The color of my contour line is gonna be this light blue kind of teal. On these, on the on the contours, you need to play around with whatever settings you have depending on the image that you are using. Uh, I found that for this image, 100% maximum grayscale, background recognition at tolerance 10, and then keeping the interior elements. This is very important because I want to cut out these white sections from my image. Contour offset, I got it at zero inches, so it's going to cut along the edge of the, of the image. And then um, the corner is gonna be rounded. Now you can use normal or cutoff. Uh, I'm myself, I'm, I'm gonna use rounded corner, and then I'm gonna hit calculate. On the extended options, I got them all at five on the defaults. Uh, include small objects and no overlap. This still uh, doesn't really make that much of a difference on this uh, uh, image because it is a, a 300 DPI image. But if you need to change them, need to you know go ahead and change them. Um, it, it it just varies on on different image qualities and the type of image that you're using. So um, these settings and the extended settings you may need to play around with um, you know just just practice practice and practice so i'm going to calculate now now my destination layer this is very important my destination layer is i'm choosing a white layer okay i could have chosen any any other uh, layer but my image layer is on the black on the black layer so my destination layer, I'm gonna you know, choose it on the white. And this is very important because of what I'm about to show you uh, next when we actually set the contour lines. So I'm gonna calculate. And there we go. Now notice when I zoom in, notice that this is setting contour lines inside the image that I don't wanna cut out because it's recognizing the background as white. And so anything that is white within the image is also gonna be cut out. It's also contoured. I don't want that. So why did I choose the white destination layer? For this reason. Because I'm going to hide my image layer right here. So see where this little eye is if I click on that, 
it's going to hide my image layer. And now all I can see is my contour layer. So what I'm going to do with my contour layer, I'm going to select it. And then I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to click on design and I'm going to click on com break combination. Or you can just use the, the key commands, shift L. So I'm going to break combination. And now every cut line is by itself. So I'm going to get rid of all these contour cuts inside the image that I don't want to perform. I don't want to cut that out. So I'm going to select all these at the same time. Delete. Delete. Delete those. Delete that. Delete that. That one. Oops. I don't want to move that. And delete that. So now I have my contours exactly where I want to cut. I got rid of everything that I wanted uh, to keep. You know, so any contour lines that I didn't need my machine to cut through, I delete it. Okay. And so now I can put my image back on. And now, by clicking on I'm going to select the whole contour layer and I'm going to combine so now they're all together now I'm, I want to see my image so I click on the image layer so now I am going to set my register marks. So I go to tools, set register marks. There we go. Now I'm going to click on the register marks only. And I'm going to drag this down. Okay. I'm going to drag this up. I'm gonna bring this in a little bit. Bring this in a little bit. So there, I have my register marks, my contour lines, and my image. So now I get ready to print. I'm going to print this. So I go to File, Print. I have it set up in landscape mode, which is correct. And then I have it on the Canon IX6800 series which is my printer, okay, and it's going to print all objects. Now, don't worry if you click outside of the images. Let me go back to that again. Cancel this. If you have anything selected, you know, where you see those marks, those guides right there, then when you go to print, it's only going to choose those objects to print. But if you click outside of your work area and then you go to File Print, then it's going to print all objects. Don't worry about the, the cut marks, okay, or the contour lines showing up here. They're not going to be printed. I have everything set to go. I click on OK, and it is going to print, uh, print for me. Okay, so now that my transfer is dry, 
the ink is already dry. I'm going to place it on my carrier sheet. I'm using this squeegee. Now you have to wait for the ink to dry. Otherwise, you're going to smudge this baby up. So wait a couple of minutes for it to dry before you put it on your carrier sheet. So now let's take it to the, um, the cutter. Okay, so on my cutter, I want to align my blade to this register mark right here, right on top of that. So the way I do that is I take my cutter offline and I move my blade by using the arrows. Once I have my blade positioned right over that corner, right over that register mark, then I press my origin set once, and then I bring back the machine online. Okay. So now we are ready to cut. So we click on file, and then output. Click OK. Make sure that you are on cut with AAS mode, not with regular cut mode. Regular cut mode is for um, heat transfer vinyl. And so you are cutting images. So go with the AAS. Okay. I'm going to click on preview. And so that's the shape that it's is going to cut. And I'm going to click on output. Now, before I do that, let me show you something else. On your pressure, you may need to adjust your pressure depending on your blade. If it's a brand new blade, you may want to go down to 70. Uh, grams on the Nina paper. If it's an older blade like mine, you can keep it at 80 or you, you, you may have to increase it a little bit more. But I find that anything between 70 and 80, even for an old blade, is uh, good enough. So I'll go back to preview again and click on output. So my cutter is reading the register marks. There it is. Okay, so now I remove my transfer from 
my carrier sheet. And then I'm weed out the excess. This image is going to come off in, in one piece, but there's some images that you may have to use a masking tape. No, but basically, this one will come off. one piece. So what I do, I like to go around the image, especially with something as complicated as this one. I like to go around the image like this. There we go. If you notice, my uh, offset is a little off. That's because my machine is not calibrated. That might be another video that I that I will do. Is how to adjust the calibration on your on your um, cutter. But there you go. That's the finished product. Alright, there you have it. So that was contour cutting with your GCC Expert 2LX cutter and the Great Cut 4 software. We were able to cut this great transfer. And if you have any other questions uh, or uh, need to learn a little bit more about this cutter, let us know. Uh, ask your questions below in the comments and we'll be uh, happy to address them. Um, and please hit subscribe. Um, and uh, visit our website, crafties915.com. So thank you very much and happy crafting.